Hello everybody and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Black Panther Wave 2 M'Baku Build-A-Figure series starting with the Dora Milaje. Here we have the Dora Milaje figure displayed in the front window and we also have the extra heads, all the accessories there. We get the Avengers Infinity War uh, logo down there, the Dora Milaje. At the top we got the Avengers logo on the side. We get some pretty generic artwork, the same on both sides. And on the back we do get a product shot as well well as all the other figures needed in this wave to complete the M'Baku Build-A-Figure. And then at the top, the read up here, the Dora Milaje are an all-female special forces group prepared to defend the Black Panther and the people of Wakanda at all costs. And down here at the bottom, we do have the UPC code, so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have this in stock. But enough about that, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look at the Dora Milaje. And here is the Dora Milaje out of the packaging, and yes, I do have three of them. I actually managed to pick this entire wave up at Walmart on clearance for $5. That's part of the reason why it took me so long to get them posted, but at $5 a figure, I could not pass up getting all three of the Dora Milaje so I could have each of the head sculpts represented. And I think it's really cool also that Hasbro packaged three different weapons so that that way, if you were going to be uh, collecting all three, uh, you could actually have each of them with a different weapon displayed like I do here, and uh, I think that is really cool. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get a closer look at those weapons, and then we'll get a better look at the figure. So taking a look first at all the accessories that came with the uh, Dora Milaje here. So we have the uh, spear, which we've seen before, albeit with some different deco on it, uh, with the Okoye Build-A-Figure. This one is just a plain flat gray and then this is the one that we got with a koye that actually had the staff painted and it looks like even the actual blade might have been painted silver as opposed to just a silver plastic so it might have actually been molded in this black and then painted so it's the same spear but uh, like i said we don't get the same deco and then we have here the rings that we got with the Nakia figure. And these are going to be pretty similar. Uh, again, a little bit different in the material used. You can see better definition and detail on this one. And then the handle's a different color, which really that's not a, a big deal having a different color handle. But yeah, you can see the details definitely shine more on this one from Nakia than, uh, than the one that came with the, uh, the Dora Milaje. And then last, we get this little spear here, or knife, or I don't know what the heck you want to call it, but it's the sh just the shorter version. And again, with the uh, Okoye wave, we got just a little bit more deco there on the handle and a little different look for it. So uh, pretty similar, but uh, you know it works. We got just all the same weapons that we've got with our other Dora Milaje type figures. And getting up close here, we have an IO figure looking uh, pretty good. I like it. Uh, that photo reel technology really kind of coming through in a, a big way here again. Uh, when you get up close, you can see those uh, multicolors that are making up the uh, color in the eye. But it looks awesome, and uh, I, Hasbro's doing a great job. Keep it up. Uh, the paint on the lips look good. The eyes look good. You get a little hint of marbleizing there that you can see. And then because it is a bald character, the flashing that goes around bums me out. But uh, for the most part, that's not too shabby. Uh, looking at one of the other head sculpts, I don't know this character's name, but again, came out looking very good. Uh, the tattoo... Oh. There we go. Sorry about that. The tattoo looking really good on there sharply drawn i like it and then same thing the eyes and the eyebrows just came out looking great so no complaints there either yeah looks good and then last we got this angry one which i kind of wish the other two uh at least one of the other two had a uh, sort of battle expression but we get another tattoo and you can see a little bit of that marbleizing again don't have any flashing uh, or as bad a flashing you can see it there at the top of the head but on the side, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, no flashing on that one either. So it looks like just on that IO figure, the flashing's kind of bad. Uh, but the teeth look good. The head looks good. And, uh, yeah, the paint on the lips coming out again. You can see how that photo reel technology uh, is used to just give it that realistic flesh tone. So very cool. Uh, going down the rest of the figure, we have a body mold that we've seen. Uh, or at least a similar body mold that we've seen before, but very cool design there. 
Uh, we got the shoulder blade, uh, or the shoulder guard, rather. Uh, nice detail going throughout. Uh, continuing down, this one actually is only present on this one. You got a little bit of red, and uh, I think I'll leave that. It could be a battle damage, a little blood or something on our gauntlet. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we got, looks like the little Black Panther logo on the belt. Came out looking cool. Yeah, well sculpted. I like it. Uh, let's do a quick comparison, though, to the uh, Nakia and the Okoye. See what that body sculpt will see if we can spot any differences. So side by side with Nakia here, we can see a couple of obvious differences in some of the body. So you have a different color on the neck and the shoulder. In fact, all the silver pieces uh, are a different shade of silver on the Dora Milaje figure compared to the Nakia figure. And then uh, we do get a different deco on the Dora Milaje for uh, throughout most of it. We get almost kind of a plainer look uh, with the Nakia figure than we do with the Dora Milaje. Um, and then we get a lot more deco on the Dora Milaje leg. Well, not a lot more, but we got the stripes and yeah, different color boots. So very similar, but if you do end up building... Uh, the army building with the Dora Milaje with Nakia figures, you might have a little bit of mismatch going on, which isn't a huge deal, but yeah, just to put that out there, they are uh, slightly different. And taking a look at the scale, we can see the Dora Milaje figures are going to come in at just a shade under six inches tall, which actually gives them a pretty good height for uh, the female characters here. But looking at the articulation, it's the same on all the head sculpts. You can turn side to side. You get a little bit of rock there just from the peg. And of course, you can look down very far and look up quite a ways as well. You do have shoulders that can go up all the way with the exception this side is going to get stuck on that shoulder piece. They do have rotation, rotation at the elbow, single jointed elbow, and then you can rotate and you do have a hinge there at the wrist. You do have a diaphragm joint that actually can move around pretty good. Can look down that far and back actually quite a ways. Legs that can come apart, eh, not too bad. Kick forward pretty far, backwards, not so much. You do have an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then you do have a ankle rocker with ankle pivot and hinge up and down. And for a quick comparison, here is the Dora Milaje with the other two figures that share the similar body sculpt, or at least what most of us are going to display them with. So you do have a Koye there, Nakia, and then all three head sculpts for the Dora Milaje. And finally, here we have everybody displayed together that came in this wave. We have the two Black Panthers on the left, Claw, M'Baku, the Dora Milaje, Killmonger, and T'Chaka. And that about wraps it up for this review, everyone. So overall, I don't know how people feel about getting this figure. I think it's actually, of all the ways Hasbro could have done it, this was the best way to give us some additional head sculpts. So that way we could actually have... Uh, you know, what is represented in the movie, which is essentially the King's Bodyguard. And uh, I think they did a great job. We got all the different accessories. If you end up getting all three of them or have extra Nakias or however you go about utilizing these head sculpts, uh, I think it is cool and could lend itself to some pretty cool scenes, uh, whether you do something with some sort of throne room uh, diorama type thing or even just doing an Infinity War thing where uh, you have them battling some minions of Thanos or something like that. So uh, overall, I think it was actually well executed, uh, albeit a use of a existing body mold. But uh, again, I think it was really well done. But with that being said, that is it for the review, everyone. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the videos. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this review. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Aside from that, have a great day.